Greetings to you again today. I hope that you have had a wonderful and blessed day and that the Lord has continued to minister to you. Even as we continue with our 40 days of prayer and fasting, I pray that the Lord has continued to be uh, uh, the perfect companion in our prayer walk and that you have continued to enjoy His presence. Today, we are in Kingdom and Class and Prayers. We are talking about prayer for powerful divine commendation and we say Lord continue to minister to you and continue to exalt himself in your midst. Grace upon grace and grace to you out of life. Father in the name of Jesus today I pray prayer number one according to Genesis 41 9 faith and set the chief of battle and the saying, I do remember my faults this day yet. Genesis again, put one verse 14, it says, And Pharaoh sent and called Joseph, and they brought him hastily out of the dungeon, and he changed himself, and changed his remnants, and then came and cried. So pray this day that the Lord change the disgrace into grace, change into honor, close the doors that are open in your life, Lord. We pray this evening that in Jesus' name, the Lord, uh, you will call upon us just as you called upon Joseph, Lord, that he changed his garments and he changed his Lord, and he was presented before heaven as holy and acceptable to you. And I pray, dear Lord, that indeed he changed the disgrace in grace, Lord, as you did in the life of Joseph, Lord. Honor. Uh, instead of shame, uh, and cross doors, instead of to open doors in Jesus' name. So we pray for your complete revelation, for your complete absolution to us, Lord, and we continue to thank you and to bless you. Prayer number two, we pray according to Proverbs 15, verse 7, says, When a man's face pleased the Lord, he hated even his enemies to be at peace with him. We pray that the Lord will let us, will let the agents of darkness at times kill my dreams that are working for its feeling. We pray, dear Lord God, that indeed you will, you will be pleased with our ways, Lord, and that Lord will make even our enemies, Lord, to be at peace with us. We pray, dear Father, that agents of darkness at times to kill my dreams will start working for the fulfillment. We pray for the fulfillment of our dreams, Lord, our ambitions, Lord, our prayers to you, dear Lord, that you feel in Jesus' name. Against the enemy's plans, against the attacker's plans, we pray that those will be defeated and that there will be light at the end of the kingdom, Lord. We thank you and we bless you. Prayer number three, we pray, according to Nehemiah, 13 by 2, which says, Because they met not the children of Israel with bread and with water, but hired Balaam against them, that he should cast them, harbor our God, turn the past into blessing. So we are praying that in Jesus' name, let the end of the morning, plan meant for evil, be turned for my good. We pray, dear Lord, that planners of evil schemes and penalty that what their plans are for me, uh, the demonic plans are for me, will be fine for good in Jesus' name. Just as you did for the Himaya Lord, those who had planned and prayed that you will fail in rebuilding Jerusalem, Lord, that they plan, the plans they meant for evil were turning to good, that in the same way, Lord, you do that for us. So, just pray, Abba Father, that indeed cover us your blood and the Lord you tie evil for good. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Prayer number four, we pray according to Daniel chapter six, verse three, it says that Daniel was prepared above presidents and preachers because an excellent spirit was in him. He thought to set him over all the whole world. Daniel did was given power and authority 
over at the back, at the leaders in this time. So we pray, dear Lord, that for the grace to stand out in the service and for to answer this name, Lord. Pray in Jesus' name that on Sunday even as we meet together to worship you and to uplift you, Lord, that indeed the Sunday service will answer this name, Lord, that you will stand out in Jesus' name, that will be glorified for all men because you have purpose for us to feel as one of life, church. So we pray, dear Lord, that you will minister to us and you will exalt yourself in our midst. In Jesus' name, I have prayed and prayed. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. May the Lord's grace be upon you today and always.